Go ahead. Uh, so, um, as you know, that a lot of the people are buying masks and they are scared if we will have enough uh, equipment, knowing the fact that um, is the city ready to take care of this massive, if there is a massive outbreak, because knowing the fact that most of the, even the ventilators are made in China and they are shut down. So are we ready and have enough hospital beds in the city? So you asked a couple of different things. Again, I, I, I want to differentiate on the masks and I'll start and then the healthcare folks will jump in. Two crucial purposes of the masks again, stop someone who already is affected from spreading it and for our uh, medical personnel and any first responders who are dealing with folks who are sick. Uh, in that context, we have a very substantial supply right now. Our colleagues can speak to that. Uh, on the question of, I think it's a very important question, not just what do we have right now in New York City or what could we get from the federal government, but what if fundamental supplies are disrupted because global supply chains are disrupted? That puts a premium on what we have in stock and how long it will last us. And I'll start with Mitch in terms of, because they do the direct health care provision. I think we said the other day in the meeting that health and hospitals is in strong shape for any short-term scenarios. I think there's a question, obviously, over long-term. On something like ventilators, you can speak to that. Right, on ventilators, uh, New York City is in good shape. Uh, and based on the, e even the, the most dire predictions of percentages of people who will have serious illness with this, we will be fine. And that, that's because all hospitals, including ours, have the most current ventilators that we use every day. And we also keep stores of ventilators um, that were previous generations that can be made to use uh, in an emergency. On masks, I think we would say uh, our, our supply right now is sufficient. In a more extensive crisis, we would need help from the federal government. Right. So we're, we're set as all the hospitals are, but if there were influx of hundreds of patients, it would require using the stockpiles, but that's why you have stockpiles. So the whole point of the state and the federal government keeping reserves is for exactly this emergency. 